I had the high honor and keen pleasure of meeting Elizabeth Brackett in her prime on a dance floor. Bracket forever, beloved sibling. It is I, Aaron Freeman, a sciencey optimist with a quick tale of how I met my dear friend Elizabeth Brackett. The year was 1986. Elizabeth was the hottest journalist in town, globe-trotting correspondent for the McNeil Lehrer News Hour. I was in my own head, the hottest comedian in town, creator of the Council Wars. The location was the Limelight Nightclub, the hottest club in town. Elizabeth and I were there with separate friends. At some point, someone said, you guys ought to go dance. Why not? Cute woman, all right. Always with Elizabeth, you could look into her eyes and see that she was game for whatever. It was not unlike boxers sizing one another up. I could look into her eyes and see she was game. See her saying, what you got? What you got? And we moved and we danced and we spun. And after a couple of minutes, I remember thinking to myself, this is a really long song, isn't it? Looked up at Elizabeth and she didn't look tired. And my feeling was like Donald Trump at the G7, I was not going to show weakness. So I reached down and kicked in the afterburners and started moving and started twisting and shaking. And she was right there moving and a twisting and a shaking. I don't remember exactly what happened except that it was a surreal out of body experience. As far as I was concerned, there were no other human beings in that club except me and this fabulous, beautiful, and Hence, athletic woman that I was dancing with. As the song ended, we went back to our respective friends. And I remember thinking, as Apollo Creed did after his first fight with Rocky, no rematch. That was the only time I ever danced with Elizabeth Brackett. I did much more with her. We did triathlons together. We traveled together. Among the amazing things about Elizabeth Brackett is that in 76 years of life, she never got old. She was as passionate and smart and energetic when I had lunch with her two weeks ago as she was 35 years ago when I first danced with her. In a physical sense, according to the laws of thermodynamics, she is exactly right here. The conservation of energy says that no energy can be created in the universe and none can be destroyed. If you take a deep breath right now, it is almost certain that you are inhaling some molecule of oxygen or water that passed through the body of my friend Elizabeth Brackett. According to the laws of the conservation of energy, not a bit of Elizabeth Brackett is gone. She is just less well organized. Elizabeth Brackett is dead. Long live Elizabeth Brackett.